Well, howdy, ladies and gentlemen, Crazy Ken here again with the next installment of Constantly Battling This MacBook Pro. If you have not seen the previous part leading up to this video, you can watch that right here. And if you did not see the three-part episode arc that led up to this two-part arc, you can watch that here. It has just been a cluster fornicate. Now, let's continue and see what's going on. So since, for some reason, I could not get the OS XL Capitan installer to download, my buddy Matt from the Computer Clan was able to hook me up, so thank you. So what my plan is now is since I already have Safari completely deleted off the system along with all of the app data, I'm going to run this installer to reinstall Safari and reinstall OS X without deleting my personal documents. So let's get that started. All right, OS XL Crapitan, let's hit continue. And we're going to read this. All right, done. We're going to install on OS X here. I'm not connected to a power source, but whatever. And password. You know the drill. Don't look. And now you can look. All right, so we are now installing here. It is preparing, and it will restart in a few seconds. Whoop, whoop. We're making progress. We're now cooking with some kind of flammable material. Gasoline. I've said it before and I will say it again, I love the simplicity of this installation screen. It's probably the most minimalistic installation screen in the history of installation screens. Completing installation. Well, this may be the most uneventful and simple installation of Crazy Ken ever. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, I just jinxed it. Oh no. All right, well, that installation is done. It's crazy how fast that went. And Safari is now back on the system, completely fresh. So let's open that up here. And as expected, we have the default welcome screen. So what I'm going to do now is make my way over to the computer here. And we're going to go to the library and Safari folder. So here is the Safari library, and here is the Safari library from before I did the erasing of the app and the reinstallation of Safari and OS X. Now, I'm not 100% sure what is causing this issue. Just like I said in the other video, I've seen other people report on similar issues that could be related to Safari causing the system to lock up. So I don't know if it's something in the Safari app data, because I have had this system configuration for years. I've been migrating and rolling the system over and over and over since like the leopard days on an old MacBook Pro, <laughs> and that was like eight years ago. So maybe some barnacles and crust caught up with me. So I deleted everything and I have the most important stuff saved on iCloud. Bookmarks, web history, reading list, you get the idea. So now I just have to determine what stuff from here I should transfer back over. While going through my Safari data and picking and choosing what I wanted to keep, I actually got an error message that popped up that said this extension was not compatible with this version of OS X. I really have no idea if that is even slightly related to the issue we're trying to fix here. But I don't use VBox anyway, so guess what? We're going to delete ya! Oh, password. Yeah, whatever. So I spent some time and went through all of this stuff, and I don't have any extensions being installed, no third-party stuff. I transferred my bookmarks plist. I transferred my history plist with the history database files, just so all my browsing history is there from the last year or so, and my top sites. So that's what I transferred, plus there's still the data from iCloud. Everything else I'm going to keep backed up, but I'm not going to load it up into the system here. All right, so I'm inside Safari. My history looks good. My bookmarks are all here. Here's the deal. I'm going to test out the system. I will report back in one month or when the system locks up again, and we'll see what happens from there. If the system can go a month without a lockup, I will assume that Safari was causing the issue and the fresh installation of it with the removal of all the other data was a good fix. If it does lock up again, I will report earlier and we're kind of back to square one because we've by that point we would have ruled out hardware failure because the SSD and the MOBO have been replaced and we ruled out 
the operating system itself, because now this is the second reinstallation of OS X, and we ruled out Safari causing the problem. So what could be left? I have no idea. I'm just hoping now that the system will, you know, will just stop freezing. But again, if it freezes again, back to square one. And we don't want to be there. So anyway, we'll see you in a month. But for you, it'll just be an instant jump cut. All right, guys, I appreciate you being patient. I had to test the computer for at least a month before I could continue. So that is why you did not get an update from me for a while. But first, I must say, I feel really stupid. You know how I was trying to download an El Capitan installer? Well, this whole time, there was one on this flash drive. <laughs> and I just found it a while ago. I have no luck. But I do have bad news. Unfortunately, my Neopet died. But the good news is, this computer has not had a single lockup in about five weeks. So I believe my idea about wiping out the Safari application support data and then doing a reinstall of a newer version of El Capitan fixed the problem. I don't want to jinx myself, but after five weeks with not a single hiccup, I think we can declare this a happy ending. So, thanks for sticking along with me on this crazy adventure. Crazy Ken is only going to get better. <laughs> am I talking about myself or am I talking about the show? I don't know. But if I was talking about myself, that would have been weird because I was talking in third person. But anyway, leave a like down below if you liked following me along on this journey. And I tell you, things are going to get great. We'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Happy endings all around. I need a drink. We'll see you later. Hey guys, if you want to get some more laughs out of us, I recommend Ken Cinema of Shenanigans. Just click here. But I also recommend one of our great cosplay music videos. To watch one, just click here.